YouTube, what's up? King the Barber here, back with another video. So today's video is gonna be on hair topics versus hair illusion. So we're gonna talk about what's the point of these, why should you use them, why should you not use them, but before we get to that, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like the content, and also follow me on my Instagram page, at Kimi Lifestyles. All right guys, so let's just roll that intro. All right guys, so I have this white paper towel and I have the black color of the topics. I'm gonna to start off with the topics first. I also have the brown as well. Uh, I have a brown version and also have a black version. Um, well, the brown is more of a dark brown actually. But um, I wanted to show you guys on this white piece of paper here, how it comes out when you spray it on here. So yeah, it's more of a, like a powdery type of form here. And that's with the black topics. So next guys, I wanna show you the hair illusion. I'm gonna spray this and show you guys how this one comes out as well. And this color is actually the black color as well, um, the dark black. So I'm gonna spray this on a paper towel here. I'm gonna spray it more in this corner right here. Okay. I don't wanna lift the paper towel up, so let me take the camera off the tripod real quick. So as you can tell, this one looks like little, little hairs. Here is the topics. All right guys, so let me show you another test on my hand. So here is the hair illusion. I'm gonna use this one first. So that's the hair illusion. Now I'm gonna spray the topics on this hand right here. Okay, so that's the topics.
You see what I like about the hair illusion is that the hair illusion looks more like little hairs and the topics looks like more like little powder, like more of a, like a powder form. So hair topic versus hair illusion, they're both great products to use. You can't go wrong with either one. As far as the hair topics, this one's gonna cost you around like 25 bucks. And then the hair illusion, you're gonna end up spending about 30 bucks or uh, more of like a medium sized bottle. Uh, you can use them both the same way. They both come in different colors. I think the hair topic, I use this a little bit more because if I'm doing lineups, I like to use this. And they also both come with the holding spray. I didn't mention that, but you also want to make sure you use holding spray when you're using these products. The way I like to do it, I like to I spray the fibers on first and then I use the holding spray. Now, which holding spray is the best? Uh, really doesn't matter. You can either use hairspray or liquid hairspray. You can use products like Pump It Up. Even though I think this one's a little too harsh, uh, the trick with this is water it down. So get like another bottle and put maybe half and half water, half and half pump up, pump up because it just gets really sticky. Um, but it's really good stuff. And then like what I'm using also is like this hairspray. Uh, I like to use this a little bit more because it's just easier. It sprays on there instead of the liquid, you know, sometimes with the liquid, it kind of drips on the clients and, and it can also drip on the hair fibers as well, which will leave little dots. So the hairspray for me works a little bit better than the liquid spray. Well, I like using the hair illusion more for when you have a, more hair on top and you want to cover it up because it looks a lot more like hair fibers, like little hairs. I think this works the best. And also a lot of barbers are doing more men weaves. I think this stuff works good as well with that because it looks a little bit more like hair. So you're gonna cover up the areas that you, you need to cover up with. So for me, I like using it just for those two reasons only. Uh, also the topics, I like using this strictly for just lineups. You can also cover up ball spots and cause that's what it's made for. But for me, I, to get that dark, crispy lineup, you wanna use the hair topics because it's a lot easier. Again, you spray the stuff on first and then you hit it with the holding spray and your Gucci. The reason why you want to use these, I think is because when you're looking at some of the social media posts of other barbers and their lineups, it's all crispy and just their face look really clean. It's because they're using enhancements. You know, you're comparing your, your pictures to their pictures and you really can't because their pictures, they're using enhancements and you might not be using enhancements. That's mainly the reason why I like to use it if I use it. I know there's a lot of people who are more purists and they don't like enhancements and I'm all for that as well. Whether you want to use them or not, it's really up to you, but it's good to have it in your arsenal and I'm always about having the tools. Uh, I also use the airbrush as well and I'm gonna do a, a tutorial on the airbrush, the one that I'm using. So you guys stay tuned for that as well. But whether you like enhancements or not, they're good to use and you should try them out if you haven't used them. That is it for both of these. I hope you guys can find any of this information useful. Um, again, hit me up guys and leave a comment if you guys have any questions and I'll see you guys on the next video.